Hello everyone, welcome to A plus PI. In this video, we're going to be looking at powers of I. If you remember, we recently made a video on powers of I, this one right here. And I just wanted to reinforce that concept one more time. So we have I to the power 4K plus I to the power 4M plus one, plus I to the power 4N plus two. K, M and N are integers. Now, when you get a problem with many variables, you could probably replace these variables with some values, such as what happens if k is equal to 1, m is equal to 0, and n is equal to 2, right? Let's go ahead and take a look. We get i to the fourth power plus i to the power 1 plus i to the power 6. And then we can go ahead and evaluate what i to the fourth is, so on and so forth. This is going to give us 1, i to the 1st power is just i, and i to the 6th power, if you remember, we said that i to the 4th is 1, so i to the 6th is going to be i to the 4th times i to the 2nd, and i to the 4th is 1, so this is going to be i squared, which is negative 1. So we're going to get a negative 1, and the 1 and the negative 1 cancel out, and we end up with i. But wait a minute, do k, m, and n have to be all different? Probably not. So we could also plug in k equals 0, m equals 0, n equals 0, and then try to find the answer. What if we get different answers? Then there's a problem with this problem. But there shouldn't be a problem with this problem, so let's proceed differently. Notice that 4k, 4m, and 4n are all multiples of 4. And what do you know about multiples of 4? Well, we just talked about it. i to the fourth power equals 1. So when you raise this to any integer power, because k, m, and n are integers, for example, if you raise this to the power k, this is going to be 1 again, because 1 to the power k is 1. Or if you do m, it's going to be the same thing. If you use another variable, it's always going to be the same. So it doesn't matter. In other words, i to the power any 4 times variable is always 1, and x represents any integer, right? So how could we use this property? Well, we could go ahead and break it down. So let's rewrite this. We have i to the 4k plus i to the 4m plus 1 plus i to the 4n plus 2. Now we could go ahead and write this as i to the power 4m times i to the power 1 and the third one as i to the 4n times i to the second. Now notice that i to the 4k, i to the 4m and i to the 4n are all 1. These are all 1's, right? Because when the exponent is a multiple of 4, like i to the 4, i to the 8th, i to the 12, they're all going to equal 1. So we can write this as 1 plus 1 times i to the first power, which is i, and then 1 plus 1 times i squared, which is negative 1. 1 and the negative 1 cancel out, and we end up with i. Make sense? Sure. Now, could we factor this out in a different way? Well, you could, but the variables have to be the same. For example, if you had something like i to the 4k plus i to the 4k plus 1 plus i to the 4k plus 2, because you might encounter this type of situation. In this case, you could take out i to the 4k. That's going to give you 1 plus i plus i squared. And since i squared is negative 1, these two are going to cancel out and going to end up with i to the 4k times i, but this is always 1, so this is going to be i. So if the variables are the same, of course, this is going to be verified. But we have a more general formula. So in other words, if you add three consecutive powers, you get an i. Is it always true? Well, here's the thing. It depends on which power you start with. If you start with i to the first, i to the second, and then i to the third, this is going to give you i minus 1 minus i, because i to the third power is negative i, remember? i is going to cancel out, and you're going to end up with negative 1. So you're going to end up with different answers if you add three consecutive powers. So it depends on what you start with. And this brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you next time with another video. Until then, be safe. Take care and bye-bye.